Hello everybody and welcome back to another Walking Dead video and this video will be about me ranking every premiere we've had for The Walking Dead. Season 1 to 11. This is kind of the definitive ranking video because we have no more seasons coming out so we're going to have every season premiere ranked from 1 to 11. This is quite a hard video to like make because I thought it would be immediately easy like oh I'll rank this one, this one, this one. But... After you get through the big first four and maybe the worst ones, there's a lot of in the middle kind of vagueness. So when we get to the middle, I'll talk more about you could put it here or that, but I couldn't justify. So let's get right into this and go straight to number 11. And in the bottom of this list is season four. This premiere is very weak for such a strong season. It's really weird to have one of my favorite seasons have one of the worst premieres, but... I couldn't rank this any higher just because it was very boring. There's not much really happening other than the scavenge plot. Rick kind of like walks around in the woods with a crazy lady. Not much really happens and it's not very good in my opinion to set up a season. There's no really big connections other than a character dying at the end and starting the outbreak. In 10th place is season 11. This episode i couldn't rank much higher i was thinking oh okay maybe it's an eighth place but look at the other seasons like premieres no this has to be in 10th place because one it's a two-parter so not much really happens in this episode it's all set up for the second episode to have all the actions there's not much very action the pacing's a bit all over the place there's not much good to look at this is of one of our first digital seasons however it was all put filmed in darkness so you couldn't really enjoy the spectacle it was just quite a boring episode of everyone just walking through a subway and shouting at negan in ninth place is seasons 10's premiere this premiere is okay in aspects like the start of this with the training session for the walkers of the beach was really cool this episode takes place at oceanside so we get a lot of oceanside which is good however i didn't like the aspect of them just dealing with a forest fire for most of the episode we got some really cool kills in this episode but i would have rather we dug straight into the whisperer plot and not had this plot to deal with them running over to the whisperer's land just to clean out a forest fire when in the previous season episode 16 they went over to the whisperer's land then so they could have just moved episode 16's plot into this plot and it would have been similar so this episode wasn't really needed saying the whispers already knew that they trespassed on their land we could have started this episode maybe a whisper attack instead of them going back over the whisperer land again and retrend some old ground in a way in eighth place is the season six premiere I was really struggling with this one because I didn't really know where to put it. However, I just justified it as I couldn't put this any higher just because I thought the kind of small subplot with the Alexandria Rebellion, which is really weak and underused, they just had it over and done with. The stupidness in this episode is at peak levels. The mission itself is not very good. And I'm one of those people who didn't like the flashbacks in black and white. It just felt kind of stupid i didn't like the way it looked so it didn't look the best the story wasn't the best the ending was good though but overall this episode just wasn't the best season premiere i liked how it carried on to the next episode and it set up the big issue of this arc unlike the previous episodes i've already talked about as premieres however i just couldn't justify it to be any higher than this place in seventh place is the premiere for season nine of the walking dead and this is one of those middle ranking episodes i couldn't really rank this premiere higher than it is and it's a mediocre premiere it's okay the action's great there's some really good set pieces i really like when they go to dc that's really cool i really like maggie and gregory conflict and gregory's death at the end of the episode really good however it doesn't set up the rest of the season very well it's just kind of a, a very look at the time jump look at the new things episode that's kind of it there's not much big spectacle in this episode and i believe ep premieres should be big spectacle episodes it's kind of a their episode it's an okay premiere for maybe long walker dead fans but you couldn't just show a new person hey you want to see the walking dead and put this episode on it wouldn't grip them as much as maybe 
other premieres to grip them to the show. It's just kind of an episode if you were a Walking Dead fan. That's how I see it. If you were a Walking Dead fan, you would like this episode. But if you've never seen the show before, this is not an episode to be like, come and watch this. Let's jump in in this point. I know it's a reboot at this point with the time jump. Season 9 is kind of a reboot season, but it doesn't have what's needed to be a great premiere, in my opinion. In sixth place, and this probably will be a controversial one, is season eight premiere. I know this episode does have a lot of issues, some maybe stupidness in the characters. However, it has lots of action and it's really good at setting up the next episodes. I really like episodes that are big spectacle episodes. And this is a really big, explosive, heavy, action heavy season premiere. And that's kind of what season premieres should be, in my opinion, to grab the attention, not these slow burner episodes. Those should be kind of more in the middle. You need to have that big episode at the start of the season. And season eight really carries that and really puts its focus into that. I almost had this below season 9, but I was thinking at season 9 I couldn't have it much higher. So this by default was made this high on my tier list. This is kind of a middle ground episode as well. So in 8, 7, 6 and 5 are kind of just middle episodes that I couldn't really justify to be any higher than they are. So that's why it is here in 6th place. Now in 5th place is season 2 episode 1. I feel like this is a really good premiere for a season however even if the season mediocre it's not a very good season has pacing issues episode one of that season is really good it sets up the Sophia missing storyline the ending is amazing cliffhanger it's one of the best cliffhangers in my opinion it's very well paced it's a very good story and I was looking at all the other episodes and I'm like I have to put this near the top but I couldn't justify it to be any higher so it's kind of in fifth place it's very well paced it's very good. I really like the story in this episode with looking for Sophia and then what happens to Carl. It's really good set up the rest of the season. It's just a really good episode all around. Now moving on to fourth place. It is season three's premiere. This episode is very action packed and it is a big spectacle episode. It's very focused on Rick and the group. There's no jumping around like later seasons do with some of their stories, which is great. It is a great pickup point for The Walking Dead in my opinion because there's been a time jump we don't have to kind of worry about season two we just go immediately into the action and it's just the characters taking the prison it's very fun to watch it's very good to look at there's some really good kills it's fun paced the ending's pretty good it's not the best ending I would admit just them finding some prisoners but it's good it's a very good solid premiere and it really sets up the next episodes and the whole arc for season three it's a very strong episode now in third place and this is probably my most controversial one just because how high i have it and that is season seven's premiere i know season seven is one of the worst seasons however it has one of the best openers i like how dark it is i like how we get so many big kills in this episode and i like how we see how villainous negan is it's a very good episode to watch it's very fun it's really about breaking down Rick, and I really like that. The focus on Rick. We get rid of all the side characters, and it focuses solely on Rick and Negan. And it's one of the best dynamics we've had between Rick and Negan throughout the whole show. They were best together in this episode. They kind of got worse as the show went on. And I feel like if Rick stayed around, they probably would have got better again. But I just feel like Rick and Negan were never at their peak when they were together than in this episode. It's very well paced. It sets up the rest of the season in such a dark way. It's really good. It's a shame the rest of the season didn't carry on that momentum that this episode set up. It's such a big episode. And this premiere is gripping from start to to credits and that's why i had to put it in third place i couldn't put this any lower and i was really struggling to try and put it in maybe second place but i was like no because in second place is season five's premiere and this is an amazing episode we get rambo carol for the first time we're getting more feral rick the way that terminus gets destroyed in this episode is so big this is one of the biggest episodes we've got there's kind of no stupid decisions the writing's on peak tyrese might be a little annoyance that's kind of the only downside of this episode i'd be is maybe the tyrese bit but other than tyrese this episode is almost perfect as a premiere it sets up 
the arcs it sets up the group getting back together it's just really good we get a happy ending for once at the end of this episode of rick reuniting with judith and darren car reuniting it's very fun it's very paced well the action is amazing this has to be in second place now in first place it has to be season one episode one this is the best premiere in my opinion just because of how well it's paced how well the story is told how we have such a good protagonist rick grimes how everything is told to us in very organic ways just because we have a uh, main protagonist that doesn't know anything we learn through the eyes of him about how this world works and it's very organic we don't get any heavy expedition which is great we could have done that if maybe the character knew everything so we had a very good character to latch on to we had a very charismatic lead it was very well focused very well driven it was very good at building this brand new world and it was gripping from start to finish this is such a strong episode and it's definitely the best premiere in my opinion and that is my tier list so tell me down below do you agree with my tier list do you not agree with my tier list and if you disagree tell me your tier list what would your premieres be from season one to season 11 like put them in order of which you think is the best and worst and this is it for me today so if you want to walk in their content look on the screen if you want something recommended to you check the one at the bottom and if you want to subscribe for more walking dead content every week and to keep up to date on all things walking dead subscribe to me and i'll see you in the next video so goodbye peace out and i'll talk to you later